Okay. But first, we know Mondays can be just a little tough for everyone, <laughs> right? I know. Especially after vacation. It yes. never <laughs> fails. Yes, exactly. The first thing I asked you this morning, are you tired? <laughs> but you Am I awake? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> no, I did pretty well. Yeah, good for you going to bed early last night. Well, one thing we can all do is get up and move around, even if it is just for a little bit. It's all part of a practice called Move a Muscle, Change a Thought. To tell us more this morning, I'd like to welcome Nicole Walters joining us live. She's from Ahava Collective for our Monday meditation. Nicole, good morning to you. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you. And you too. So this is an interesting concept here. So what exactly does move a muscle, change a thought mean? So um, first, I learned this actually, um, as many people know, and I think I've talked about it here. Um, I'm a person in long-term recovery, and it was one of the first things that I was taught. So it's a really um, popular slogan in like the recovery community and it's really focusing on like what like looking around like what can you do in the moment um, and moving a muscle changing a thought is kind of reshaping the way that we're thinking right okay and then what exactly should that movement look like so it can look like a lot of things, right? It could look like, you know, a full body workout. It could look like a run. It could look as simple as doing the dishes. I remember I had a woman tell me once when I was just super stressed out, I didn't know what to do. And she said, Nicole, do you have any dirty dishes in the sink? And I said, yeah. And she goes, well, go wash the dishes. Sometimes washing dishes can be a really spiritual experience. And I thought that doesn't make any sense. And most of the stuff that I talk about doesn't really make any sense until you actually do it. And then you're like, oh, in the moments that it took me to wash those dishes, you know, my nervous system calmed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that fight or flight kind of started to settle more into calm and collective. Oh, okay, I see. I personally think doing the dishes is very therapeutic. So that <laughs> that does make sense to me. But, um, you know, in all seriousness, though, the movement that we make once you decide to maybe do a stretch or like you said, just dance or walk or do a full body, yeah. body workout. How do we make sure that that movement remains intentional? It doesn't kind of distract our minds, but really kind of helps us stay focused. Well, the most important thing to remember is once we realize that we are in distress, like when we when we become aware, like, okay, I am flipping out right now, like that's when the meditation and the practice is working, right? Because then you're intentionally, consciously deciding in this moment, I'm going to do this instead of that. Because I, like I say all the time, um, I can't think my way into healthy, right? I have to act and live in a way that creates more health and wellness in my life. So move a muscle, change a thought. It's not us trying to ignore or distract ourselves. You know, it's us not allowing that stress or that heavy emotion to take control and be that be what makes our decision. We want to be in control and make decisions based out of a rational, calm mind, not out of a mind that is just freaked out and has no idea what to do. And normalizing the fact that we don't always know what the next right thing to do is, but we can typically figure that you know, the next wrong thing would be to make, you know, a permanent decision on a very temporary emotion. And Nicole, quickly before you go, why have you found this to be so effective throughout your journey? So I found it to be really effective throughout my journey um, based off experience of when I haven't applied this in my life. So like I said, uh, making temporary or making permanent decisions off of temporary emotions um, has never boasted well for me. And when I look back on my life, I realize, wow, had I known now what I know then, mm -hmm. maybe I could have made a better decision. And hopefully, you know, I continue to learn and no one's going to be free from mistakes, but everybody deserves grace and everyone deserves a second chance at learning. And the best way to learn is through experience. So 
Absolutely. Nicole, as always, it's so great to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. And you at home can learn more about Ahava Collective and working with Nicole at the website on your screen. All righty. Well, speaking of...